is the capital city of Calvados, which is a county in France's Normandy region. Caen is a two-hour drive from Paris and was once home to William the Conqueror. The Castle of Caen is one of the largest wall fortifications in Europe. The castle was built by William the Conqueror. The castle has recently been restored from damages sustained by the bombings during World War II. Within the castle, you can find the Museum of Fine Arts and also the Museum of Normandy. Caen's marina is full of all types of boats and it's a great spot to take a stroll. The marina is near several places to eat and on the weekends, you can experience Caen's food market. I encountered several vendors that I met in Bayou. The Vugu neighborhood is one of the best known parts of Caen. The neighborhood dates back to the Middle Ages and was untouched by the bombings of World War II. Before lunch, I had an aperitif at La Poterne and then had a delicious crepe at La Nouville. My next stop was the Caen Memorial Museum. The memorial has been expanded since my last visit over 20 years ago but here you will learn about the history of the 20th century and the fragility of peace. I was fortunate enough to meet Colin Taylor, who is a Normandy battlefield guide. Colin guided me through the British sector and one historic spot just north of Caen is Pegasus Bridge. I'll leave all the battlefield details for Colin to share with you when you join us in Normandy, but it was here that parachutists of the British Airborne Division landed to secure river crossings for the beach landings. It was a great experience and I highly recommend Colin to be your guide. In the summer of 1998, I studied at La Abbey de Ardennes. I was part of the James Earl Rudder Study Abroad program from Texas A&M University. A lot in the Abbey has changed since the last time I was here, but so many wonderful memories came to mind as I walked through the Abbey grounds. I believe my experience here so many years ago set me on my current path of travel and learning. Abbey was a strategic location during World War II and was also the scene of a tragic event. It was here that German forces executed several Canadian soldiers they had captured in blatant disregard to the Geneva Convention. Another spot to visit in Caen is La Usum. The former Benedictine monastery was dedicated to Saint Stephen in 1063 by William the Conqueror, who was buried in the chancel. The abbey is now the town hall of Caen. There is still more for you to explore in Caen, and I look forward to custom designing your trip to Normandy soon. Thanks for watching, and spark some joy when you travel.